Hi, and welcome to our deep dive into our programming function in Scout's Terrain. Today we'll be going through all of the components of programming, how they fit with the program and our youth program, and how our units can use programming features within Scout's Terrain to better their scouting experience. First off, we're going to explain the landing page in programming and take you through all its functions. So let's get started. Quickly, we're going to look at our different steps in relation to programming. So if we scroll down here, actually beneath the calendar view, we have our artwork and then over on the right hand side, we've got our programming and scouts terrain. This is based off our programming process tool, which you can find on pr.scouts.com.au for our different sections. And predominantly our uh, system supports stages two and three in our plan and our one and two in our do component. So to gather ideas in Scouts Terrain, we're going to use the proposed ideas button. There is a proposed ideas video already created and we'll encourage you to have a look at that and see how the unit council can use the proposed ideas button to actually then shape the program for the next program cycle. You'll see a plan activity button and this button we will go through in detail in a minute. Import activities. That's if other units or uh, other groups units have activities coming up that your unit actually wants to be a part of and import into their calendar. And we'll go through that shortly as well. You'll see a blurb on the program, upcoming activities, which shows our calendar view, our proposed idea button, which actually has all the proposed ideas that the unit has already suggested or the members of the unit have already suggested and our concluded activities. Uh, and you can actually read the reviews from the concluded activities over on the right hand side. Back to our upcoming activities. You'll see the month and you'll be able to toggle between different months. If you were to click on a day in the calendar, it'll bring up a day view. And that's really good for uh, programs that have detail within them within the day to see all the different components that are happening and what times they're being set out for in the program. Going to click back on the monthly view. You see this legend over the right hand side and that color codes the activities for you as to how they've been assigned in the calendar. So group, unit, patrol and project patrol activities will all flag as a different color within the calendar view. Okay, it is important to note that if you're assigned as the organiser, whether you're a youth member or an adult leader uh, in the program or any of our programming components, then you will actually flag as the activities in which you're assigned as an organiser down here uh, beneath your calendar view. So you can enter those activities and complete the plan from that point, or you can go into those activities uh, from this calendar view. Uh, scrolling through the different months to to pick up which activities that you're the organizer for and completing the plan we'll get to that stage uh, in a few minutes so first off we're going to actually uh, plan an activity through this process so uh, what's the activity called we need to know what the um, activity is so we're going to go snorkeling And say so maybe in a location, maybe giving a short description of what this activity is. Uh, this component is realistically so the unit, the unit council, um, and uh, the person that eventually gets signed as the organizer of this activity can actually know uh, the purpose. Um, where they might need to go uh, to plan a bit further. Um, so putting some good description around this uh, is a good idea. So uh, snorkeling with the scouts and adventurer scouts. 
working on outdoor adventure skills and learning at SDG life under water. And that gives a, a general description of um, what the activity should be about. Why this activity? So I would say um, this is going to help us plan out, you know, further the activity details and the schedule when the organiser gets to do this component. So you've got uh, what do you want to achieve? Why are you sharing this? Uh, when do you want this to happen? There's some ideas um, to help youth members and also the adults plan, um, you know, putting some components in around this to uh, then help the organiser. So why this activity? Um, wanting to learn about how external development goals more, how to help our life the water, learning new skills, for our outdoor adventure skills progressions to have fun in the water towards summer months. You know, that gives a really good outline of the components um, that the individual needs to consider when they will be planning this activity. Who should organise this activity? At this stage, this is a suggestion, pure suggestion uh, from the person proposing the idea or this initial um, entering the uh, program activity into the calendar. So who should organise this? I would say something like uh, Venture Scout working on stage five or six snorkeling and maybe so on. We're going to cap out at the word limit but they will be uh, extended very shortly so also you could put something down like uh, working on milestone two or three um, as it's a bigger activity probably a cross section it would do uh, really for, well for probably a milestone two for a venture scout. Which challenge area does this activity belong to? Well it could belong to a range of them, uh, could be community, could be personal growth or outdoor but for the purposes of uh, the description I'm going to put down it's an outdoor challenge. I'm going to click next. So all of that plan details button that we've just been through is in essence the same information that comes off the proposed ideas button. So um, if you were to plan from the proposed ideas list you should instantly be taken to this who, when and where page and you will be able to also edit the information that was in the proposed idea page as well. So who, when and where? Uh, do we believe it's a group, unit patrol or project patrol activity? All of these are kind of dependent on, um, I suppose, the section, uh, what's going on, where it fits in the program cycle. If we were to select project patrol, for example, you could actually select the participants um, from the group in which that were invited. Patrol would tie it to a specific patrol um, within the group and potentially also within the section in which you're working. Unit invites all unit members that you're currently in uh, your profile switcher for and group is uh, overall uh, this will see on the calendar for every member of the scout group and therefore um, every, every member of the scout group is invited. So I'm going to put it down as a unit activity. While we have said it's for the venturer section and the scout section, we will actually um, just as easily be able to export this activity um, and assign it to the scout section or the venture section as well. Who will organise this? Now this actually now gives you a drop down of who's going to be the organiser. Um, so I'm going to actually put down myself for this so we can see full functionality for the organiser. 
Uh, we do currently have our developers working on um, being able to assign multiple organisers to an activity so they can all um, plan components together. Uh, but for now, you can only assign one organiser. At this point, you might have files in which you want to uh, attach. So you might have seen photos from um, where we're going, Bush Rangers Bay of snorkeling. You may have uh, seen a snorkeling poster where you might need to hire some gear from. Um, this is from, or you may have actually drawn out a plan already of, of the activity uh, on a piece of paper. So this is for any of those files and it'll just take you to your files section. Um, within your computer. So that's super simple to use. Location, we've already said, um, don't need a capital, Bush Rangers Bay. Start time and date. So um, I'm going to assign it actually to today's date so we can run through the full process. So if we sign it to today's date, we're going to press the date and then OK start time you'll need to for at the moment press the pm or am depending on when you want it to start so let's say we actually wanted it to start uh, in the am let's go pm and say we want it to start in a minute's time so that would be 12 25 and time here is today to state at 12.35. Okay, and you're going to go through and just double check this. So plan activity, you don't need to edit any of the components and we're going to press add to calendar. Now, the something went wrong is associated with the time. So as you can see, the time's actually ticked over to when the event uh, should be starting. So we'll need to actually go into here and say, OK, it's actually going to start in another five minutes and it'll end five minutes after that. You can also see here, that it's not necessarily assigning um, the time correctly. So we will need to press PM there, 35. That's much better. Go to select next, come down here, press add to calendar. And that plan has been added to the calendar and it now will populate in this view here. You can see, according to our legend, it has been allocated to a unit activity. So we're going to go in and complete the plan for this activity now. And as you'll remember, I assigned myself or my um, current profile as the organizer. All right, so you'll see here snorkeling, maybe at Bush Rangers Bay comes up and, and I can view or complete the plan from beneath the calendar, or I can additionally go in to here. Now, from this point, any additional planning uh, is seen by the organizer and is seen by unit council members. So the information that is already entered, if we go in here, is own, this is the information that is seen by any participant. So they'll see general description, um, you know, all of those components. Uh, and as you can see here, we've get the flag. This section is visible to you as the organizer and unit council only. You can also cancel an activity out of the calendar, export it, and we talked about that, uh, exporting and importing, and then you can also print it out as well. So we're going to go in and complete that plan. As you can see, it's gonna be completed by the organizer also going to assign myself as a lead and I can assign other leads as well. Who's going to assist? Uh, Yuri is going to assist for this particular activity. 
and we're going to schedule out this activity. So we might say um, we had a very tight time frame. So uh, I believe it was 12.25 through to 12.30. So, uh, oh, sorry, 12.30 through to um, 12.35. So very short uh, snorkeling activity. But the idea with the schedule is that you'll actually, this is where the, the full plan comes together. Um, and you can add another, and it'll just keep dropping down, add another. So this is so you can actually plan out a camp, a night, um, write in things like opening, games, when different activities are occurring, all of that component. And this should, in essence, be done by the assistant leads um, and the organisers of that activity. They'll assign which um, method elements, so learning by doing, nature and the outdoors, personal progression, putting out supporting, general equipment, additional notes, and any files. And if we click next and press complete plan, that will then flick through and we'll see the plan is complete. Flag up on the right hand side, just in time for our event to start, which is starting right now at uh, 12.30. So that event is uh, going to tick along in the background and um, come to the point where uh, the actual event has occurred. Um, you can still do components like editing, exporting, um, changing time, all of that sort of stuff. Um, well, the, the time and date function of uh, changing when things are occurring uh, hasn't been in, in the system for the last month, but uh, that is something that we will start to see over the next week or so. And um, that's really so people can go in and edit uh, if it's bad weather, if there's an electrical storm, we probably don't want to be taking people snorkeling. So it would be important for us to move that activity around. The attendance, that's going to flag everyone that could have possibly attended this event. So we uh, listed the event as a unit activity. So um, if you go name, that will actually tick off everyone. And it might be easier for you to go through and tick who didn't actually attend, or you can go through and assign specifically who did attend this event. So let's say it was only uh, five of the unit that attended the event, then we would go through and press save. Activity attendance updated successfully, excellent. Our time has now lapsed and our event is concluded. And our review is able to be concluded as well. So the different components and prompts are important to just double check. As we, as we said, talk to participants after the activity, what was achieved, what was enjoyed, how have they grown. All these components should, in essence, be uh, you know, captured in this review. Don't forget to review this activity after it's finished. Participating system leads will only be assigned once the review is completed. So um, it is really important that these reviews are done. So who organised this activity? Myself, Karen, who was the uh, activity for our scout unit number one. Uh, these are leads and assists in here. Uh, who actually gets assigned for the assists and leads? So you can um, allocate multiple or you can, can change it around. You know, if it wasn't evident that um, I did a, uh, an assist or lead, then you can change it to someone else. But for now, I'm going to leave it on myself so we can uh, go through and view that component. Um, and then who is the assist for the event? We actually decided that you know, it wasn't needed or it was needed. Whatever it is, make sure you go through and check that. How was the activity? So this is where you'll engage the uh, youth members, unit council members can also do this review. Uh, so they could have a tablet or the phone or um, do it quickly and log in. One of them can log in afterwards and do this review. How was the activity? Look, we're going to say great. It went really well. Um, they all enjoyed the snorkeling. Um, and yeah, it was great. Was this activity adventurous, fun, challenging and inclusive? It was actually all of them according to uh, the scouts, so that's excellent. 
Um, community involvement, yep. Nature in the indoors, learning by doing, uh, probably a bit of you planning out supporting. How was it covered? So how were these components covered? This is in essence supposed to kind of tie in um, that review, like the planned your review board or asking the youth members, okay, you said learning by doing, what did you actually learn? How did you do that? A nature in the outdoors, why? It's, it's probably not just because you're outdoors. What did you actually learn from that experience? So um, that's the idea for now. We are just going to put in a couple of drops to move on, but that we would strongly suggest for the vast majority of all your activities, you don't do this because this actually supports our youth to go back and reflect on their scouting um, and also the unit and yourselves as adult leaders potentially to go back and reflect on the different components that have uh, happened throughout the year. How has the unit grown? So um, have you seen growth uh, in areas? You know, this is where you could enter some spices comments. So, um, you know, uh, we learnt how to work better, better together under water. We might put that next to you. Okay, so that might be the intellectual um, component. Uh, we probably were quite social. We enjoyed the we enjoyed experience. So um, just showing notable growths, um, any uh, noticeable features about the day, um, who really enjoyed it, was there anyone that struggled? These components can all go into how has the unit grown. And then we're going to press this conclude activity button down on the right hand side. Snorkeling is now concluded. Excellent. And you should see here in the concluded activities, we show all snorkeling is concluded and we can read the review in this component here. So this is the review that was done, what we just did. Up here, we press back to programming, it's going to take us back to the landing page. As we did mention right at the beginning of this video, we believe uh, the system supports the vast majority of the different processes and tools uh, in relation to programming. However, it's not going to be the only thing you need to do. So especially for our younger sections and even for our scout sections, you would see um, this to be brainstorming, maybe with our post-it notes or whiteboards, um, still small team control discussions throughout, um, especially for the review, all of these components that, um, no, we don't solely expect programming to be facilitated through Scouts Terrain, but that's the difference between, um, you know, our, our system supporting the vast majority in the tracking and the planning, and also um, the human interaction that we need through our programming process. You can see here, coming up with ideas and goals for programming cycle, well, our proposed idea button, um, and also sitting down with that first page of plan activities can do that. The unit council refines all of these ideas and goals in the program. Yep, so the unit council can pick up those components through the proposed activities button, um, view, remove, plan from that point, um, and discuss through those components. Then we've got the unit council plans the activities and helps them get starting point of information. So um, that's where you go in and you go through that uh, first two slides of uh, planning the activity and you'll also assign the organiser from that point. Once that organiser is assigned, realistically that should be the, uh, the lead um, or leads um, as well as maybe an adult leader to, to help that move forward depending on the section. Um, and that's where the individuals uh, running each activity will go in and build out that plan through that scheduler or attaching their already defined plan 
um, through our attachments feature. So that can be written out, that could be verbal, um, whatever it is, it's really a log for that organiser and the unit council to see that there has been planning put into that, uh, that program idea. All right, if there are any more questions about programming um, or components uh, within programming, don't forget to check this video out and also the proposed idea video um, and our different how-to uh, sheets and guides on uh, pr.scouts.com.au. Please jump on to our uh, user community Facebook group um, and double check through these videos and fact sheets. And if you do have any additional questions or uh, support needed, please don't forget to log a support request through our support button on Scouts Terrain. Thanks everyone for watching uh, and we look forward to doing more videos for you explaining components of the system. Bye.